What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about Disneyland's urban legends. First, we're going to talk about the secret rooms underground Disneyland. There has been numerous rumors that there is strange spaces in Disneyland. Some of these rumors might be true. So there's a private club called Club 33, and this is located in New Orleans Square. To get into Club 33, you need a special membership, also very expensive. It has been reported that the initiation fees are around $25,000, and that does not cover the annual membership. The annual membership fee starts at around $12,000, so it's $25,000 for the initiation, and then it's another 12,000 annually and meals are not included. It is also true that a basketball court is built inside the Matterhorn. This court is actually really small. It's not even the size of a half of a basketball court. This was actually not built by Disneyland itself. Some of the employees added this. There's also a suite inside Disneyland. This suite is called the Disneyland Dream Suite. Disney intended for his family to live there. He passed before it was completed. This suite is actually now sometimes offered to a lucky family to spend the night. Urban legend number two, Walt's frozen head. It has been said that Walt's body was frozen and stored under the Pirates of the Caribbean. In reality, Walt died in 1966 from lung cancer and was cremated two days later. This urban legend dates back from an interview in 1972 given by Bob Nelson, president of the Cyronic Society of California, if I said that right. He stated that Disney wanted to be frozen, but he stressed that he was not. Walt Disney's ashes are located at the Forest Lawn Cemetery in Glendale and have not been scattered around Disneyland. Next urban legend, the Haunted Mansion ride scared someone to death. Haunted Mansion ride opened in 1969. Some say there was an earlier version of the ride that was so terrifying that a man that was invited to go ride the attraction suffered a heart attack and died. There's no evidence of this actually happening. After this ride was completed, it was actually not opened because of this death. Walt Disney actually passed before the ride was completed so this caused some uh, changes to the ride. There have been minor changes over the ride due to a ghostly figure known as the Hatbox Ghost that resided in the mansion's attic. The next urban legend, there's a real dead body at Disneyland. The Pirates of the Caribbean is probably one of the most urban legends around it. According to certain legends, Pirates of the Caribbean used real human bones constructing the attraction. It has been rumored that Disneyland got these bones from UCLA Medical School. They say that these skeletons remained on the ride for many years until they were eventually swapped out for fake ones. However, some people believe that the skull and crossbones behind a skeleton lounging bed are real. A cast member supposedly told Disney Dose that the, the school was real on video. Disneyland is actually a popular place where guests scatter their loved ones ashes all around the park, mostly around the Haunted Mansion and the Pirates of the Caribbean attraction. It actually has been mentioned that a family of a seven-year-old boy was once caught spreading ashes all over the park. This was inside the Haunted Mansion. Now doing this is actually illegal. Disneyland actually denied any of this happening. And in 2007, another woman was accused of spreading a loved one's ashes on the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. Witness said it looked like baby powder. The police could not find the substance to test and Disneyland denied these claims. The next urban legend is multiple abandoned buildings within the park with creepy backgrounds. One of these areas is Discovery Island. This was an island owned by Walt Disney in Bay Lake from 1974 to 1999. Most people believe that the park shut down due to Florida laws regarding the bacteria in the water. So another one of those theories is basically that the government bought the island from Disney to use as a death camp. Another urban legend is the Disneyland Cats. Urban legends state that Disneyland released a number of cats around the park to actually control the rodent problem. This attraction around a mouse added cats to their park to get rid of the mice. There have been multiple sightings of cats on the park. There is currently about 200 cats on the park. Although they only come out at night, you most likely will never be able to see them. 
So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Some of the urban legends of uh, Disneyland. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out my other videos.